Hi everyone, I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Saturday coming at you with 2011 Tops 5 Star Football. Three box, random team break number one. One spot gets you two teams in this uh, this blast from the past. Big thanks to this group of people for uh, buying their spots straight up. Congrats again to the winners of spots right here. One spot gets you two, so let's double you up. Like Sir Mix a lot. There are all 32 teams in right there. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Six and a four, ten times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, and tenth and final time. Six and a four, ten times. We got Don down to Mike. Six and a four, ten times for the teams. One. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten, we got the Pats down to the New York Football Giants. All right, Don with the Pats, Gordon with the Cardinals, Don with the Jags. Daniel, you have the Raiders. You'll get Oakland Raiders stuff too, obviously. Nicholas with the Titans. Tommy with the Dolphins. Uh, Daniel with the Bengals. Don with the Panthers. Blaine with the Los Angeles Rams. St. Louis Rams too. Nicholas with the Fly Eagles Fly. Don with the Seattle Seahawks. Christopher with the Colts. Uh, and the Los Angeles Chargers, obviously. San Diego Chargers stuff will go to you. Justin with the Bills. Brian with the Falcons. Mike with the Packers. Don with the Bears. Gordon with the Lions, Justin with the Washington football team slash Redskins, Tommy with the Ravens, Don with the Jets, Blaine with the Vikings, Don with the Saints, Dallas, uh, da Don with the Saints, Daniel with the Cowboys and Broncos, Nicholas with the Niners, Don with the Texans, Jason with the Steelers and Chiefs, Nicholas with the Cleveland Browns, Brian with the Bucks, and Mike with the New York football Giants. All right, and let's alphabetize by team name. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, then the break. Stick around. BRB. All right, welcome back, folks. No deals were done, so that list right here remains the same. Thanks for hanging with us on a Saturday night. Appreciate it. Let's see what we got in here. 2011, a blast from the past. We were looking at the... Uh, we we're looking at the 2011 draft. Cam Newton, Von Miller, AJ Green, Julio Jones, JJ Watt. Right? Those are some of the guys. Mark Ingram. It's all in the first round. So, among others. So, let's see what happens. Here, it says 2011. This must be it. You can see, for those of you not familiar with old five star and tops doing football products, this is going to be a treat. So this, I don't even remember this era either, where they, where the fives are were in tins. Isn't that crazy? They have been, Jeremy, but we're we're 15 minutes away from the show ending, so. Yeah, I don't think that's not going to happen tonight, unfortunately. But it definitely will tomorrow. Remember, check the schedule. It'll tell you whether there's a late night or not. It's pretty helpful. All right. Let's flip these over here. We got a book in the mix as well. Maybe let me get a couple slider boxes here. Any chance Tops? I've asked Tops executives that before. And they, they they want to, but but I don't know. It just it's just a matter of if the NFLPA wants to go a different direction, wants more people involved, or that that exclusivity goes away, or if they just outpay Panini just for all that. So I don't know. There's a lot of different factors involved. 
but for now, I don't think so. But here's Jason Witten to 129. There may be a possibility, it's for the Cowboys, that maybe with Tops going public and working in a digital market, the NFTs and stuff like that, that they might it might be a way to kind of back in backdoor into doing some football, which could be interesting. There's Mike Tolbert, 13 out of 129. This dude was like a bowling ball. That goes to the Chargers. That'll be for Chris Hoyt. Yeah, baseball five star used to have a bunch of cards in one slider box till they changed the configuration. Out of 129, Defon Bess, 99 out of 199. That's for the Dolphins, Tommy Kendrick. And our autographs. We got Kendall Hunter. Rookie auto for the Niners, 27 out of 190. 190. Nicholas with San Francisco. Hatch Auto, Randall Cobb. Nice. Do we give it two colors? A little bit of dark green peeking there. 56 out of 99. Rookie Patch Auto for Green Bay. That'll be for Mike Krasinski, who won that spot. So, yeah. So, William, we'll, we'll see if Topps kind of backs into the football market like that. That's some of the speculation. We'll see. It'll be nice. There's Champ Bailey. He's pretty good. Three color patch and autograph. That uh, looks like 26 out of 50 for my rivals, Denver. Dan O with that. Dan O. Let's see. What's behind the book? A big patch? Let's see the patch first. Jake Locker. Big jersey right there. 68 out of 88. And that is for Nicholas and the Titans. And the book is going to be Futures Autograph Book, three-piece memorabilia for the New York Football Giants, Jarrell Jennings. Jernigan, that is. Jarrell Jernigan. Out of 35. For the New York Football Giants, Mike Krasinski. with another spot that he won. All right. Next one. Right, so you think if Topps gets a license, Panini stuff will drop? Like value, you mean? And Topps will be worth a lot less? I don't know. I think there might be different enough where... I think, I don't know, maybe before, maybe six, seven years ago, I, I could see that argument. With the hobby being the way it is, I think people would love to have Topps stuff. I think it would. I think it would be a good thing for everybody. All right, Chris Hoyt, and, and you'd probably be probably have to compete with the, the competition alone. I think would be better. There's Richard Dent to one twenty nine. That's for the Bears. The Reggie Wayne went to goes to Chris Hoyt, and the Darrell Revis to one twenty nine. Don. There's Jamie Harper right here. Well, there wouldn't be any more. Well, how it works is, um, ooh, that was a crazy shattered bet.
Like, there's like 30-some-odd football product released a year. If it ever went back to the sharing thing again, it would be like Panini would have 15 releases and Tops would have like 15 releases or something like that. It wouldn't mean like Tops wouldn't have 30 releases and Panini wouldn't have 30 releases. There's Jamie Harper. Rookie autograph for the Titans. Nicholas. So previous years, they would have that sort of cap on total. There's Leonard Hankerson. Six out of 99. Three color passion autograph. Is that a catch? It might be a catch right there. Five out of 15, Bart Starr. Old school guy, Mike Rosinski with the Packers. And a dual autograph. Ooh, different teams. Bilal Powell and Jarrell Jernigan. 11 out of 20. Maybe back in 2011, this would have been a monster. <laughs> it's a randomizer between the Jets, Don, and the Giants, Mike. Good luck, guys. And the relic on the bottom is DeMarco Murray, rookie relic. 23 out of 40. He was pretty great, too, for a good chunk of time. Dallas, Daniel. At least, if Topps got a license, again, hopefully they wouldn't say <laughs> they would not agree to to all that before they put they put a cap on it. I mean, there's only so many cards that that the players themselves want to sign too. I don't think they want to sign cards for 60 different products every year. So, if Topps ever gets to share this license again, I don't know. It's, it sounds like Panini is going to hold on to this exclusive just as long as possible. It's pretty lucrative for them. All right, last box, folks. Peyton, remember Peyton Hillis to 129? There's Peyton Hillis. Cleveland, this is for you. We got Brandon Jacob, 96 out of 120. I remember this guy, too. Giants, that'll be for Mike. We got Jimmy Graham, 102 to 129. This familiar Saints gear. We got Austin Pettis. I feel like there's a, I feel like there's an Austin Pettis story. Was he the one that? Let me let me look this up. No, never mind. I was thinking of someone else. Uh, Austin Pettis, though, is uh, related to, some of you may remember, old baseball player uh, Gary Pettis, nephew of former Major Leaguer Gary Pettis. Ooh. Ooh. Here it is. Three-color patch and autograph. Cam Newton, rookie patch auto Cam Newton. 95 out of 199. That's pretty awesome. That's Don McRae with the Panthers. He won the Panthers in that filler break. Yes, we were running out of cards. I didn't think we were going to see any of the bigger names. Uh, it could, could be a revival on his RPA stuff if he has a great season this year, which is possible. We got Kellen Winslow, 87 out of 150, Buccaneers. Yeah. Brian Ferguson with Tampa Bay. 
And we got a book and a relic. Let's see. Let's get the relic only first. Nice Ray Lewis. 23 out of 40. Two color patch for the Ravens. What time is it game time, Tommy? And we got a signature book. Three piece relic right here. There you go. Heinz Ward. Nice. The relics aren't super exciting, but it's a nice on book autograph right there. Is there a number here? Oh, there it is. 10 out of 35. And that goes to Jason Siebert and the Steelers. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Some five-star right there. Let's do the randomizer between the Giants and the Jets. All right, so let's go back to some new dice. Put NYG, NYJ. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three and a six, nine times. Team on top after nine will get the dual auto. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And ninth and final time. Flips to the Jets. Goes to Don. There you go, Don. You get the dual autograph, Jarrell Jernigan and Bilal Powell. 11 out of 20. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Really solid break. That Cam Newton was really nice. Thanks for getting into the action. Thanks for breaking with us, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.